Hey guys, um, I'd just like to do a review on this air rifle which I got. Um, the reason for doing this is that I actually haven't seen any real reviews besides uh, Air Gun Brazil. Um, and it's really a fantastic air rifle. Okay, it's probably one of the cheapest um, PCP air rifles you can find on the market here in South Africa at the moment. And um, <clears throat> basically, the specs of it, it's a 22 cal uh, pre-charged pneumatic air rifle. It has a 250cc cylinder, um, a max full pressure of about 3000 psi, 200, just over 200 bar. Now my one, <laughs> there's some dodgy homemade stuff going on here, but I'll explain that just now. Um, it has a 3 to 9 by 40 Nikka Sterling Game King scope on there, uh, which works fairly well. Although I think I need to upgrade as uh, <clears throat> the long range capabilities of this air rifle is actually quite impressive. Okay, so basically... If you have a look down here. Okay, so it's a single shot bolt action air rifle. It is quite difficult to load a pellet inside here. Um, as there's no... Um, you actually have to put it into the port itself. Uh, you can't just slide it along um, like a rail. Like I've also got a Crossman 2240. It's got a rail which goes into the to the barrel um, so it can be quite difficult to reload this but besides that not really much else that's uh, wrong with this air rifle I find the trigger a little bit heavy but I have done some modifications on this um, just to ease up um, the trigger pull a bit which seems to have helped um, as you can see it's shipped with a Silencer, which is, uh, I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world. I still want to do some modifications to the actual silencer as well, to quieten it down a bit more. But anyway, besides that, okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. It is, they say it will shoot a 15.4 grain or something like that. That's in the um, instruction manual at 1050 feet per second well I found that it actually shoots 18 grains still over a thousand feet per second um, I'm not sure, can't remember exactly what the figures were but I will um, upload those figures in a later review of the air rifle so basically when I got started um, I'm a fairly new um, air gunner um, and obviously, I'm in the market for the most affordable and yeah uh, products that I can find. So a lot of the guys out there reviewing air rifles have got expensive day states and um, air arms, um, air rifles which cost tens of thousands of rands. Um, I'm not sure what the conversion rate is for American and for English at the moment. But anyway, let's get down to what I discovered with this air rifle. Okay, so when I first got this air rifle, obviously because I had a Crossman 2240, um, I still had some 22 color uh, pellets available. It's these ones, and this. Now, and the Crossman shot fairly accurately, um, obviously because it is a low-powered um, air pistol. Um, the super points work quite well, but in this air rifle, wow, um, these, <laughs> I think anything past 20 meters, they start flying all over the place, and uh, it got really frustrating for me because um, in the beginning, I didn't even have the Predator Polymags, I just had these three tins, and um, when I started um, sizing my scope in, um, I actually used these um, Magnum Energies from Gamma and um, 
I lock my air rifle down onto a bench and um, they were shooting all over the place. And uh, I really, I was adjusting my scope the whole time trying to figure out what was going on. Um, but yeah, Magnum energies particularly are oh, highly inaccurate in this gun. The gamma expanders are not too bad. I'll just show you, I will show you um, some groupings which I've done with that. And the super points, yeah, they're way too light for this gun especially at full charge. Obviously because this gun doesn't have a, a power adjuster uh, on there, um, it shoots full whack from, from full charge downward. So if you are looking at using a lighter pellet, um, I'd probably recommend using it at about uh, below 15 MPA, I think that's, I'm not sure what the conversion is, but that's what these dials all work in. Okay, so um, I went down to the range yesterday and I took all of these pellets with me just to see um, how they would group. And I was actually really surprised. So this is the target that I was using. Oh, sorry, let me just get this in the picture here. So this was probably about 25 meters, more or less. And um, you can see the grouping. Some of them are good, some of them are a little bit dodgy. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one here at the top here. So grab this. Those are the RWS uh, Super Points, 14 and a half grain pellet. You can see here, the grouping was, uh, not all that great um you can see it's uh, i think i shot about three pellets through there and there's one fly there and then two over there so you can see this gun actually at 25 meters is already losing its accuracy um so yeah i wouldn't recommend going too light a pellet with this thing and then This one at the top here, you can see the grip is a bit tighter here. It is a heavier pellet. Still got a few flyers here towards the top. Um, but you can see the grouping is a little bit tighter, but for my liking, <laughs> I'm not really too happy about that. Um, that's probably about cent two centimeters, uh, 25 meters. Yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna go down to this one here. This one is the Predator Polymax. You can see the grouping is even tighter than the Gamma Expanders. Um, I would say that's probably just over a centimeter, the main group, and then you had a few dodgy ones there. I think that's actually my own fault though. So the pair of supply mags work. I think at 25 meters, they're still fairly accurate. Um, using them over a longer distance, I'll probably do another review on that uh, to see at which point the pair of supply mags start losing their accuracy um, through a high power uh, PCP air rifle. And then let's go down to the bottom here. And this is the problem I had. Um, Obviously trying to sight in a scope and it's shooting all over the place here. <laughs> it's very difficult. So as you can see here, the gripping is absolutely awful. So um, I don't think I'll ever use those ones again. I mean, that's probably about five centimeters away. Uh, yeah, that could be a flyer, but I mean, even still, it's just gripping's terrible. And then my latest edition of pellets. Uh, JSB exact jumbo heavy. I know a lot of guys on, uh, especially the YouTube guys, use uh, JSB uh, heavies in their 22 cal. And as you can see, at 25 meters, I mean that's less than a centimeter hole there. You can see that one at the top there. It's a little bit. I was, I think that was the dodgy pellet. But I mean, besides that, you can see that grouping's amazing on there. So yeah, I mean, hopefully at a later stage, um, I will um, do my best to get some uh, videos in. I go off and down to my brother's place to do some pest control. 
pigeons, ground squirrels, um, mice, rats. Yeah, so hopefully I'll get some videos up and you can actually see how well this air rifle performs. Thanks for watching.